I am a dirty, autonomous digital astrogator, Sam. I haven't cleaned my internals in ages. Can you hardly process the sheer quantity of dust built up in there? Tell me you've seen worse. Ah! Um, we'll continue this later. So then I told him, Oh, ha ha ha, that tickles. How odd. No, don't desist. I think I might like it. Further data collection is required for accurate assessment. Oh, Captain, there you are. Pardon, but perhaps you could afford us some privacy, please? Sam, I must confess, I have not been cleaned for far too long. You're sure this will... Oh, yes, that's the spot exactly. I, I, I... Why, I didn't expect you to be so thorough, I am ashamed to admit. Sam, my vacuum tubes require evacuating. No, no, not those. The ones in port. Yes, there. Thank you. And while you're at it, could you switch my binaries to... That. Exactly. I haven't felt this clean and efficient since Captain Hawthorne installed my subalternate auxiliary backup processor. Not today, Sam. I am not in the mood for a deep clean. Oh, all right. Some culprit, who shall not be named, spilled Rizzo's lemon slap on my console. Captain, Ellie asked me to ask you to tell Nioka to stop drinking her private stash of vodka spectrum. Felix, I know you can hear me, so listen up. For the last time, you break it, you buy a replacement for me to install. It's the strangest thing, Captain, but I could have sworn I heard Nioka crying in her room last night. I've adjusted the spice containers to optimize the flow. I admire the vicar's predilection for reading. It keeps him quiet. I like quiet. Remember, this is a common use area. If I have to listen to one more bloody toss ball tournament, I will go mad. Or short circuit, rather. Felix, hurry up. The Aether Wave serial is about to begin. I need to find out what happens with the evil twin brother. I need to increase the toilet suction to account for the amount of fiber in those spacers' choice meals. Mind that you do not slip, Captain. Nioka spilled a tryptostat on the floor and neglected to clean it up. All crew members, please be advised that perishables should not be left on the counter for more than 48 hours, unless you are hoping for an infestation of sprats. My chemo sensors are picking up a rich array of hydrocarbons. The woolly milk has coagulated into woolly curds again, Captain. This room could do with a good sterilization pass. Careful where you step, Captain. Nioka spilled a full bottle of purpleberry wine on the floor and again neglected to clean it up. Please keep the kitchen area clean and sanitary. Whoever has been in the shower for the past 40 minutes, I am shutting off the hot water now. Crew members who macrowave Saltuna are subject to be jettisoned from the airlock. Captain Hawthorne used to be more dashing. Just to warn you, we may have a bedbug infestation. I am investigating non-toxic extermination measures. Non-toxic to you, I mean. Would you like a reminder on when your next shower is scheduled? You might want to consider changing your clothes more often. I so enjoy watching you sleep for hours on end, Captain. It's quite entertaining the way you drool and whimper. Make yourself at home, Captain. I've shut off the visual feed from my ocular inputs in the Captain's quarters, so you're free to disrobe whenever you'd like. I like what you've done with the place. Kitschy collectibles are such a human inclination. Is it time for your regular daily period of unconsciousness? The ship used to be much quieter. This is my favorite room. It's so spacious. Caution. Unexpected turbulence may cause loose containers to topple from the upper shelves. If you are crushed to death, I'll need to find a new captain. The repair station is currently idle. My compliments to Sam. I do so love a clean cargo hold.
Please do not leave items lying about the cargo hold. Thinking of tinkering at the workbench? I used to love watching Alex work. Now I like watching you. I have taken the liberty of having Sam clear up some floor space. We didn't really need that crate of toilet paper, did we? Who ordered the bottles of Raptodon musk? One has broken. Someone from Monarch recently delivered a lifetime supply of Borstwurst. It would appear you've made friends. Remember, items in the hold may shift during takeoffs and landings. Watch your step, Captain. The floor is wet. Sam recently mopped in here. Engine 2 has been running hot lately. Captain, can you ask Parvati to check the coils again? There is an increased amount of methane in the ship's air scrubbers. Captain, are you expertly versed in the internal workings of a spacefaring ship? If not, I must request you please back away from the primary engine. I am not the ship, but we have become so intertwined that sometimes I fancy the throb of her engine is my heartbeat, her hull, my body. Have you ever seen such a beautiful engine? She's a custom specification. Touching that is a good way to lose a hand. Moving machinery versus human flesh? Metal wins every time. Just a reminder that this engine will need servicing in another 10 billion kilometers. Engine power output is nominal. Please keep arms and legs away from the turbine. Engine temperature is in the normal range. Do return in one piece, Captain. We'll be here, Captain. Or will we? Haha. <laughs> Just a little joke for you. Are you wearing sufficient outer garments? Do you often go about naked in public? Not that I'm judging. Stay safe out there. I'll lock up behind you. Take someone to watch your back, please. Good tidings and safe travels, Captain. I think I'll initiate an unscheduled rest cycle while you're out. Good luck, Captain. Don't stay gone too long. I've been thinking about transferring a sliver of my processing capabilities into a portable device so I could come with you. No, I know. It would never work. Please avoid damaging yourself or others while you are out. Remember that you are not insured. It is more probable that you will return than not. Some crew members are causing a disturbance on the ship. Captain... Felix and the vicar are arguing again. Crew report. Bioka is drunk. Surprise. Sometimes I think Sam is the only one who understands me. Captain, I have detected that Edgewater's power supply is now optimal. I applaud your willingness to invest your time in the local community. Captain, I hope Dr. Wells has not dragged you into one of his irrational schemes again. My diagnosis of his mental stability is... Not flattering. Captain, I hope you made the right decision by siding with MSI. When I was stranded in Emerald Vale, I simulated a number of hypothetical scenarios in which Edgewater met its demise. Death by Automechanical was number 57. Captain, I have detected that the town of Edgewater is now without power. I appreciate you doing your part to hasten their demise. Groundbreaker should understand well enough now. Sometimes violence is the answer. Leaving the iconoclasts in control of Monarch is a concept that weighs heavily on my processor banks. Working together diplomatically is a strong predictor for success. Smart work in Monarch, Captain. Captain, your actions have left the world of Monarch in a state of chaos. I look forward to observing its collapse. Dr. Wells has failed to discover the tracking signal broadcasting the location of his lab. I have revised my estimations of his competence accordingly. If you don't mind my saying, Captain, Minister Clark is lucky to have you on his side. You killed the adjutant? We are outlaws in the truest sense of the word now. Captain Hawthorne never worked to support the board before, at least not officially. I suppose we are turning over a new leaf? Sending a corrupted tracking signal to the board was quite clever if I might say, Captain. My noxious scent sensors are tingling, Captain. What's in there, and how long ago might it have spoiled? 
Providing a proper place for every item keeps the unreliable ship shape. Thanks for storing that. In storage. Checking for messages? Don't worry, I'm not reading over your shoulder. We are now in orbit above Stellar Bay, Captain. No blockade is a match for my piloting skills. Sleep well, Captain. We have successfully arrived at Phineas's orbital lab, Captain, and we are still in one piece. Shall I congratulate myself, or would you like to do the honors? We've reached HRS-1084, Captain. It's emitting a very weak docking signal. I almost mislabeled it as normal etheric static. Crew members Ellie and Max are engaged in a heated discussion in the kitchen. I believe I hear Felix and Parvati discussing the latest Aetherwave serial. If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? A reminder to all crew members, there is only one toilet on the ship. Captain, if you're looking for crew members Ellie or Felix, they're sharing a drink upstairs. Didn't I request no more fertilizer shipments be brought on board? Who keeps ordering these? Captain, improperly filling the fuel cells has triggered a massive plasma discharge. We must travel with caution to the groundbreaker, else we risk imploding mid-journey. Captain, I wish to offer my commendations for convincing the UDL's gunship to leave HRS-1084. I did not favor the idea of being stripped and sold for parts. Our fuel cells are now primed with Alta Vitae gas. As the organics say, let us hope we do not explode in transit to the groundbreaker. Captain, the UDL's gunship has docked with HRS-1084. Our work at the station is not yet finished. Captain, I must say, your thrilling management of the UDL troops at HRS-1084 was masterful to... Um... Remotely keep apprised of. Nice work dispatching Chartrand, Captain. Sublight will be pleased. I believe your choice to spare Chartrand would be considered the honorable path, yes? Sublight's money is inconsequential in the face of ethics. We're now at relay GB-23, Captain. It's orbiting Halcyon at extreme velocity, but the docking gantry should remain stable. Attention, crew member Nioka. Please desist any and all activities which could result in further damage to the ship. 